From overnight now, a big announcement from Disney amid the coronavirus pandemic. The company announcing even more closures, some that will take effect in just hours. Ezzy Castro is live at Disney for us this morning. And Ezzy, the theme parks are already shut down. That's right, Justin. All Disney parks closed their gates last night, along with Universal Orlando, Legoland, and SeaWorld. And Disney just announced it is closing its stores at Disney Springs tomorrow and hotels on Friday. To see tourists going up and down all day. And now? No traffic, no people. Central Florida's major theme parks are now closed for at least two weeks as the state tries to limit the spread of the coronavirus. Yesterday, we saw crowds made it out one last time. Yeah, we get it completely. Um, we're doing everything we can as far as trying to keep safe and sanitizing and, you know, keeping the kids clean. <laughs> Overnight, Disney announced that its own stores at Disney Springs will close its doors starting tomorrow. Also, all Disney-owned hotels will shut down on Friday night. The measure comes as the CDC recommended that large gatherings of 50 or more people should be avoided for at least eight weeks. As for Universal Orlando, it is they are keeping City Walk open as well as its hotels for now. Same thing for other Orlando attractions like Fun Spot and Icon Park on International Drive. They are remaining open. Again, at least for now. Live at Walt Disney World, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6. Ezzy, thank you. And again, it's not just the major attractions that are closed. The Central Florida Zoo, Holy Land Experience, even the Orlando Science Center are all shut down. But as Ezzy mentioned, not everything is closed. Gatorland posted it will be open during its normal hours today. Fun Spot says it too will be open. Both parks say they've stepped up cleaning and sanitation. Here at News 6, we're committed to getting results and bringing you the facts surrounding this pandemic. The Florida Department of Health announced 39 new cases in the state yesterday, but have not said which counties those patients are in. Right now, we know there are 149 confirmed cases in the state of Florida. Health officials warn it's only going up from here. Because as I've said many times and I'll repeat it, the worst is yes ahead for us. It is how we respond to that challenge that's going to determine what the ultimate endpoint is going to be. And one of those reasons behind the increase in numbers, more testing. Governor DeSantis announced yesterday the state would be receiving an additional 500 testing kits. It also comes as more labs across the country will be able to process the tests. As of Monday, we will uh, have more than 2,000 labs coming online with the high-speed uh, testing, and we are connecting states uh, to those testing methods. President Trump's coronavirus task force, led by Vice President Mike Pence, says a new website will soon be available for the public to learn where and when they should get tested. Those tests are all free to patients. And testing is expected to begin today on a possible vaccine aimed at protecting people against coronavirus. The trial to evaluate the vaccine's effectiveness will be done at a research facility in Seattle. Testing will involve 45 young, healthy volunteers who will receive the experimental shot developed by the National Institutes of Health and Moderna, Inc. Despite the trial, health officials say it will take at least a year before vaccines ready for the general public. The news is not expected to be good when the stock market reopens this morning. Overnight futures on the Dow, NASDAQ and S&P 500 all plunged by more than 1,000 points, all reaching their after hours limits. That is despite a big move by the Federal Reserve yesterday, cutting interest rates to near zero to try and bolster the economy. The Fed also announced it would be buying up to billions of dollars in government and mortgage-backed debts. President Trump praised the moves during his news conference yesterday.